Hello guys, today we will discuss about how to rename the user created object in SQL Server. Suppose we have any existing object like a user created table and we want to rename the table name or column name or any index on table column. Then we can use sp underscore rename stored procedure. It is a SQL Server database engine stored procedure that is used to rename the user created object in SQL Server. And one more thing that we need to know about sp underscore name stored procedure is that if we are going to change any object name and that object is being referenced within any scripts like stored procedure or triggers or views then it does not change the object name within any script it just change the object name but if that object is being referenced within any scripts like stored procedure trigger or views so we have to manually change the object name right there within that script so that is the one point that we need to take care when using sp underscore name stored procedure so here we have some syntaxes regarding the sp underscore name stored procedure first one is used to rename the table second one is used to rename the column third one is used to rename the indexes we will cover them one by one so first we will create a table then we'll insert some dummy records into table so here we have some script ready so first we are going to create the table so let's create the table the command completed successfully dead by x now we will insert some dummy records and record is inserted successfully let's check the table quickly and here we have a table output now first syntax is to name the table name so here we have a table name dead by x now we will make it xyz so here we have just copying the syntax right there so you will be able to understand what i'm going to do here here's the syntax sp underscore name then here's the database name then a schema then table name so it's a full qualified name along with the schema and then this is the new table name so here we have a table name z x y z y x now i'm going to make it x y z so let's execute okay it's saying new table name is already so okay let's make it x z y z y x now i'm going to make it x z y and here it is executed successfully it means the table is renamed to xzy with it is giving also a warning some like changing any part of the object name could break scripts and stored procedure it means that if this object is being referenced within any stored procedure and any scripts then we have to manually update the object name xzy within that script so this is the warning about that point okay let's quickly check whether the z table name z by x still exists or not so let's quickly check and here you can see it giving invalid object name it means the table is renamed successfully let's quickly check the table with new new name and here you can see we have the record is still there in the table and table is renamed with new name x y x z y now we will add a new column in two table x z y so here we have already script right there now i'm just going to copy paste the table name here okay now table we want to name the column name to emp name here we have pass object type column it means we are telling the sql server engine that we are going to rename the column so here we have a table name then we have pass column name current column name name then new column name emp name and object type is column it means we are going to rename the column so let's execute the stored procedure and here you can see it executed successfully with warning the same warning changing any part of an object could break any script so let's quickly check the table and here you can see column name is renamed from name to emp name now we move to next syntax to rename the index 
first we will create an index on table so let's say the table name is x at y we are going to create index on x at y on cluster index on column emp name so let's quickly create the index command complete successful so let's check whether the index is created or not we can check it with sp underscore help command it let us know the complete table structure all the constraint schema column name or indexes so let's pass the table name x jet y now executed the stop procedure here you can see the index is created on column emp name now index name is idx underscore call emp name now i am going to rename this index so i will use the query i'm just copying paste the syntax right here then i will modify the syntax accordingly sp underscore rename then i will pass here table name because table is using default schema so and then we don't need to pass the schema so i'm just pasting here table name then current index id or you can say index name the new index is this i just remove the call just right before the emp name so my current index name will be a idx underscore emp name and here i have passed object name this time index it means i'm going to rename the index so let's let's go test purpose here and here you can see it is executed successfully and with warning the same warning now quickly check the whether the index is renamed or not by executing sp underscore help stored procedure and here you can see now index rename will change so index rename index renamed successfully idx underscore emp earlier it was idx underscore call emp name now this time it is idx underscore emp name so using the sp underscore name stored procedure we can rename the user user created ob object and so it is a very useful but we have to take care if the object is being referenced within any scripts like store procedure trigger or views otherwise it will stop the working of the script so we have to take care that part otherwise it is a very useful stored procedure to renaming the user created objects in sql server hope you enjoyed the video if you like the video kindly do subscribe the channel for getting the latest video update on sql server tutorials thanks for watching the video